Okay, so I'm gonna work on a project today that I saw something on Homeworthy. Did you ever check out that channel? It has a lot of neat things. They they uh, travel around looking at um, a lot of people's houses and they do a lot of, um, uh, you know, uh, apartments in Manhattan and stuff like that. And those people always have such beautiful uh, decor. But anyway, um, I had this idea from one of them that I saw, and I can't remember whose uh, house or apartment it was. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on this area. I'm here in the music room, and I'm going to frame out these um, wall art pieces that I did. Now, if you remember back a couple of years back, I bought these in Lowe's. They're actually um, for the yard. And what I did was I removed, I can't actually remember the parts I removed. I removed something, I think, because it was supposed to stick in the ground. And uh, what I did was I painted it out. It was some other color that I can't remember. And um, I put them on the wall on each side of this wall right here. So um, I'm going to frame them out to make them look like they're framed wall art and it will give some substance to that area. So yesterday I went to Home Depot and I bought some um, uh, molding and wow, did it get expensive. It's absolutely crazy. Like this molding that I have here, I did all of this work here, but th this molding that I bought here is abs double the price that I had paid for it. So it's insane. So anyway, I'm going to start that. And down the pike, eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to frame out that mirror also because I want to give it more substance. And I'm also going to do a little trick here on the fireplace. So let me get started over there. Okay, so what I found is the top of the piece of artwork is nine and a half inches from the bottom of the molding at the ceiling, and it's seven and a half inches above the chair rail at the bottom. So based on where the mirror is, what I want to do is I'm going to uh, go, so it's going to be seven inches from the top piece of molding. That's where the top of the frame is going to be. So it'll be three inches above the art and three inches below the art. Now the piece is 48 inches. So 48 plus the three inches on the top plus the three inches on the bottom is 54 inches that I have to cut each one of the sides. Then the total width of the art from the widest part from the, you know, the widest part on the left to the rightest widest part on the right is 18 inches. So I decided I'm going to make the frame 24 inches. So it'll be 54 on each side by 24 on the top and the bottom. So now I have to cut that. Okay, so here's the molding I bought for my framing project. And you can see it has this nice edge on it right here. Um, these were uh, $10 a piece in uh, my Home Depot. Uh, so, and they're eight feet long. So the first thing that I'm going to do is, before I measure anything out, is I have to cut this miter right here. I'm gonna cut this on an angle like that, okay? And then I can measure it accurately. So I have to get my miter saw out, I'm gonna cut this on an angle, 45 degree angle. Okay, so you see now I cut that at my 45 degree angle. So now I'm going to measure from here my 54 inches down to the other side and then I have to cut another miter angle. So you see I measured to this point my 54 inches and I draw a line to the angle that I need to cut because I just think of one other thing and I'll cut it the wrong way. So, you know, measure twice and then check it. And then before you cut, think about it. So as you can see, I have my two sides cut. You see the miter is opposite, right? And I measured them out so that they're exactly the same. And if you have any kind of dec decorative, you know, edging or something on your molding, don't forget to flip it over for the other side because you could wind up cutting it on the wrong side and then you know you're going to waste that piece of wood and it's too expensive to waste. Now I have to cut the cross part. And there you go. There is my frame. So now I'm going to cut the other one so it's exactly the same as this and then I will show you the next step. 
I used Bear Spray Paint from Home Depot. It was great. So here's my three frames. I laid them out and I sprayed them. So here's a reminder what the mirror looks like. I'm going to do that first. So I prepped the whole thing and what I did was I used two-sided Velcro because that's how I'm going to attach it to the frame of the mirror. I'm not going to uh, screw in there. All right, I wanted to add some gold accents to this. So I used some gold acrylic paint and what I'm doing is I'm going to old-fashioned sponge. I'm going to sponge it on here. I'm not, it's not very wet. And then once I sponge it on, I'm going to turn the sponge over to the dry side like that. And I'm going to blend it in a little bit more. I want it to kind of, I want the brown to be predominant, but I want the gold to kind of like be a haze over the top of it. And this is the look that I got. This is what I like. You can do whatever you want when you paint it, but this is what I wanted. Okay, so here is the piece now. And what I have to do is um, I have the frame somewhere. Oh, it's over there. And I'll show you what I'm going to do in a second. Okay, so here's what I did with this. I used two-sided Velcro right here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to position it and then push it against the wall exactly where I want it. Then I drilled just two holes in here that I'm going to put nails through to secure it to the wall. So it's going to be held up with this and then just these two nails. And it's very lightweight and it should do the trick. Okay, and there's the frame on the artwork. I think it gives it a lot more substance and presence, and I really like the way it turned out, and it wasn't a hard project at all, and it wasn't an expensive project either. For under $60, I was able to do this. And there is the before picture, just to remind you what the white mirror and the two sides look like without the frames. And here is the end uh process right here you can see the frame and the mirrors and everything blends together all right everybody thank you so much for stopping by take care i'll be seeing you soon give me a thumbs up bye bye